Hello, Twitch chat. Is I Perry Pink? We'll be starting the FC meeting shortly. Uh, at the top of the hour. So stand by for two minutes. We are letting people join in on the stream. I just want to play Jeopardy music now. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Where's Brett? Brett. I, I was looking at the wrong day, so I was at the mortal house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out who I know in 2.0 and I can tell you. Need your musical prowess. Perry. Jalen. Oh, Perry. Still Yes. Where are you get my message? Uh, I, I got on Discord. Yeah, I did not. Okay, it was on Discord. So. Are we just saying officer names now? I can get it. Apple. Banana pants. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> do, 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 do. Banana pants. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Banana pants. Hey. Banana pants. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> Sylvie, you look so cute. Phenomena. <laughs> Alright, we got one more minute. Uh, one more minute. <laughs> and we'll be <laughs> starting okay, this off. We've got one more minute. <laughs> <the way. laughs> did you notice I match you? You did such a great job last night, Perry. Oh, thank what? you, Michelle. Yeah. Let's see if I can well, keep no. up hey. the winning streak. You match Rihanna, not me. But wow, I think, Mel. I think Saturday wow. did the intro, right? Well, your guys' names are on top of each other, in my defense. Or do you want so. me to do this? Right? Uh, uh, what a copycat. Oh my god, look at how much taller you are. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, Wait, Mel. She's not a cat, she's a bunny. I know, but Jesus, it's, it's like a tall so bunny. Tall. Okay, I wish you know how tall they are until next the top of the hour, hey, ladies hey, hey, and gentlemen. Hey. Saturn, would you like to take it away for the beginning? <clears throat> yes. It is 7 p.m. Central Time. We're going to go ahead and begin the Immortal Sword SD meeting. We do these monthly... The first full weekend of the month, uh, we have Immortals meeting on that Sunday at the same time at 7 Central. This weekend, I'm feeling a tad under the weather better than yesterday, so I'll talk a little bit. But Perry's going to be doing the bulk of the facilitating of this meeting. So um, he's done that before, so you guys are used to listening to his crazy shenanigans. And I'll go ahead and start off the introductions, though. My name is Saturn Return. I'm the FC leader. Um, I really like to do a little bit of everything in the game, but I really like social events, recruitment. Um, I, I love Sestasha. It's my favorite dungeon. I love it because of the nostalgic feelings that I get from doing the first MMO dungeon with other people, just like Dead Mines or Wailing Caverns as a former WoW refugee. Some of you guys are also WoW refugees, so you can understand. Um, and if you ever need to reach me, I'm in Discord. It's the best place there is in Discord. So uh, I will go ahead and pass it to Perry, and then other Legacy Officers can go. Hello, Immortal Sword, my immortal. It is I, Perry Pennington, your Legacy Officer. Uh, I do various things around the FC. I do inactivity removals uh, for members who've been active for way too long. I do activity checks, uh, which sort of compare our population on the server during peak hours versus other top FCs uh, to see how we're doing in terms of member recruitment and retention. I farm prizes for you guys and uh, cleaned up the FC chest, the tab one of the FC chest, just a little bit. Still a little bit uh, cluttered, but it's okay. Um, but I helped farm some prizes for you guys. And I am the jukebox DJ in this FC, so if you like the music here uh, or have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I co-host the monthly glam contest with Saturn. So uh, the last one had the uh, four elements theme. Uh, but it was really awesome. If you're interested, check out the highlights on Twitch and or YouTube. Um, I've recently put together an elite uh, technology IT professional squad within S.W.O.R.D. to help me uh, with swordfc.com so be on the lookout for a bunch of changes coming up we got a trello board we got calic from 5.0 we got a cool of steel from 3.0 we got dextrous from 4.0 and we got our own darko here as well 
helping out. So yeah, it's it's an awesome team. I'm a Discord moderator, so if you need help with Discord, let me know. I'm a raider uh, in the Crit Happen static with Saturn and Legacy Officers and some of our friends. And I know Dragoon Warrior and Scholar the best, so if you need help with those, uh, let me know as well. I stream sometimes on this Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash swordfc. I'm streaming this meeting right now. And um, sometimes I'm gonna I'm gonna stream D and D soon with the Legacy Officers. I'm the DM. We're playing Fifth Edition Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, Rime of the Frost Maiden is coming up as our next adventure. So check it out. Uh, pass it off to Tech. Hi, hello. I'm Techno. I am the Legacy Officer for our Fallen, which is our 5.0. Um, I do a little bit of everything. Um, I'm an Army Crafter. I really enjoy doing glamming, probably more than anything else in the uh, in the game. Uh, I run a monthly event called Text Glam Jam, which uh, is a one person will win, and then you get to do a whole glam makeover with me for your character. Um, I'm also part of the Static Prey was talking about um, <clears throat> for uh, Crit Happens and part of that D&D group as well. Um, I, uh, like I said, I'm Omni Crafter, Omni Gatherer. Really like to do commissions for anybody when they need stuff, especially for glam items. I uh, main White Mage and Dark Knight, so you have questions for either one of those classes i'd be more than happy to help you with those um and uh, just if you have anything in general glam or lore or anything like that just really enjoy that stuff and uh yeah just do a little bit of everything maps dungeons raids parties helps with whatever you got any questions just let me know i'd be more than happy to help and i'm gonna pass it to uh mr warden dresden back there i am warden dresden i am one of the founders of the fc and I pretty much do behind the scenes admin work, tweaking roles and permissions as needed, and just sort of checking logs and making sure things are in order. And I will send it off to. Let's go to Jalen. Are you there, Jalen? He's muted. Jalen, <laughs> go! Yeah, I'm talking while muted. I'm not used to going that early. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I am Jalen Honderon. I am uh, one of the resident Omnicrafters. I live and thrive on crafting and gathering. I am a moderator on Discord. I run the Leave Kit giveaway every week. And I also, when I'm not crafting, <laughs> I'm main summoner and play Red Mage Ninja and Paladin. So, yeah. If you have any questions, just give me a shout. See, yeah, I do have my own rock, but it's not just my rock anymore. It is my rock and Rihanna's rock. And speaking of which, I shall pass it to her. <laughs> Thanks, Jalen. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Rihanna. I do a lot of gathering. Um, I do craft. I help Jalen a lot with stuff, and I do. I run the cafe team craft for gathering and crafting, and dole it out to you know tell people what to do with the with the cafe because we need <laughs> a lot of food and that's fun and a main white mage i kind of dabble in i don't know other classes if i feel like it um bard and machinist a little bit and i pretty much like to do anything i'm up for trying anything um only things i probably haven't done are like savage raid current savage raids because they're scary and i don't have a static so i just enjoy watching other people die instead of me so and I also run the fashion kit giveaways, which we'll, we can talk about later. And I will pass it to Solandria. Hello, this is Solandria. I'm uh, the resident incognito officer by my own volition. Uh, I tend to do white mage as my main. I also do bard, red mage, and other classes, but I tend to run around as white mage. The uh, I do the one of the mini games, uh, the Wandering Warrior of Light, and I also uh, started up the taxi service and handle at trying to advertise that and make sure people get taken care of. And you know, I'm also an Omni Crafter, Omni Gatherer, but as far as doing uh, cutting edge crafts, I'm not entirely confident in that. But pretty much anything lower, I can pretty much knock it out for anybody. So let's. Go to Sylvie. Hi, I'm Sylvie Kintz. I run the FC Room Decorating Contest, which we'll talk about later. I also have the uh, super amazing, totally fantastic map parties that I run on Tuesday every week. 
And I also help at the cafe. I supply crystal shards and clusters. And I'm sure there's other stuff, but that's all for now. I'll pass it on to Aparicia. Uh, hi, I'm Aparicia. You can call me Appa. Um, I am an Omni Crafter, uh, Omni Gatherer. I do one half of Aparco's map parties on Mondays. Um, what else do I do? I also do uh, fashion reports on Friday at 5 p.m. with Rihanna. And I also do my dungeon crawl event. I am a scholar main and I am progging E12. <laughs> and it's very hard and annoying. But um, yes, I'll pass it on to Darko. Hi, everyone. My name is Darko Smalls. I am your resident lottery master. Um, any questions with that, feel free to ask me. I'm also a mod officer. So any questions with the Discord, um, I'm here to help you. I am um, a calendar admin. So if you have any questions with the calendar, I'm here to help with that as well. Um, and I'm the other half of a Parco map attack on Mondays. And... Is that everybody who hasn't gone yet? I think that's everybody that we have here right now. Guario is was unable to make it, but Guario does a lot of the uh, maintenance around the FC, including our submarines, airships, gardens, uh, and things like... Oh, and the wheels, ethereal wheels. So uh, he is amazing. And he also runs the Las Espadas group, as well as heads up the Sword Magazine, the Major of Sword Magazine, which you can check out at swordfc.com slash sword-magazine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna so Saturn made this cool little graphic by the way, I just wanna just highlight it, it's on the stream right now. But it shows like uh all of her awesome characters in the top there, uh together with the art commission that she had done with the legacy officers underneath, and then all the um officers in the other uh respective FCs. So yeah, it's pretty neat. But I'm turning that off now because we're done with introductions. Okay, so hi everyone. Just uh, for newer members, uh, we have these monthly meetings on the first Sunday of every month, as Saturday said, as uh, Saturn said, geez, please. And we have four, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, several different FCs in this sisterhood. We have five FCs, and we are the second one, Immortal Sword, that is 2.0. The first FC that we have is the Mortal Sword. We have... Immortal Sword, which is 2.0, Eternal Sword, which is 3.0, Temporal Sword, which is 4.0, and the Fallen Sword, which is 5.0, whose FC meeting we just did just before this one. Um, why do we have several FCs in this sisterhood of FCs? Well, a long, long time ago, Yoshi P and uh, Square Enix decided that they were going to sunder all servers in Final Fantasy and create data, uh, these different data centers. And so we were, in, we were going to end up on this... Uh, crystal desert island that we were afraid would kill raiding um, on the whole data center and it kind of it kind of did kind of did you know it was, it was kind of bad for raiding as a whole but Saturn decided to create uh, this sisterhood to create our own internal uh, party finder to help better find raid groups and friends to uh, play with and group up with um, so that was the initial reason, but several benefits actually uh, sprung up from the split, including the fact that each FC has their own unique individual culture, and um, it allowed us to sort of promote more folks into leadership positions into all the FCs to shape those unique cultures. Uh, so for example, you know, the Mortal Sword, which is the oldest and largest FC, has the most level 80s and the most amount of members in general, um, tend to really focus highly on endgame. And uh, recently they've been just overrun by frogs. They've, they, there's frogs everywhere in that FC. It's it's a menace. They've taken over the cafe now. It's it's getting out of control. Um, <laughs> you know, it's crazy. And then so it, cold blooded. <laughs> yes, uh, the Eternal Sword 3.0. They're kind of like the, the the wild child, but they love their their pants. They hate pants. Uh, they're totally anti pants over there. Um, they have pantsless alliance raids, pantsless palace of the dead, and all these things. Um, Temporal Sword. Um, 
they're probably the closest ish to us. They like to tease Saturn a lot about her hatred of desert yellow. They uh, <laughs> at the last meeting they all dressed up in complete yellow glams with chocobo hats and chocobo carriages and fat chocobos and there was there was just yellow everywhere. It was, it was crazy. Even Kamed was in his uh, chocobo night glam. Uh, his yellow chocobo night glam. So yeah, they love the teaser red desert yellow, and they're very into RP and things like that. Uh, and uh, fallen sword, um, they all do this cute little ritual where they dress in like gray and they sort of uh, all show up in at their FC meeting in this like gray outfit with a little sleepy gray hat and things like that. Um, and then there's immortal sword, which is us. We're the very wholesome FC. We're the peace ranch. We're the pasture. We uh, are very friendly, and we really, really enjoy our mini games. For some reason, our FC, like, we have members that we just dominate all the mini games. We Like, even the PvP tournament, which, like, it's it's just, you know, <laughs> whatever. We're, we're pretty good, and we run a very stable ship, I feel like, uh, in the FC. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead, and I'm going to talk about now some current events that we have. Uh, coming up. So the big thing for the month of February is going to be the date auction. And so the date auction is going to be this month at the end of the month on the 27th. That's the Saturday. And um, you can check the actual dates and times. It's in two uh, two blocks of time for the date auction. Um, but you can check that on the calendar, which is swordfc.com slash calendar to find out the exact times. And we'll have more details on the actual details of it soon on uh, in Discord. So please watch Discord and pay attention for the date auction. If you haven't been to it, it's, our, it's a yearly event. It's super awesome. The venue is freaking spectacular. I'm telling you, it will blow your mind just the venue that we're having this thing at. It's a new large house, newly decorated. Holy crap. You will be amazed. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> well, you can watch highlights of the and promotional videos on the website as well underneath the highlights tab uh, of the last date auction that Saro Saro put together some some cool uh, uh, promotional videos for it. Um, but on that note, uh, piggybacking off this, we all have a special event coming up the week before, I believe. Athena, do you want to plug that real quick while we're on the subject? Why, yes, I do. Hello, I'm Athena Miss Warren. Uh, if you don't know me, I want to run a weekly gram glam grind on Wednesday nights. And this month, I'm bringing you all something a little special. So Cupid proudly presents the Sword Speed Social. Do you constantly find yourself gravitating towards your same social circle? Do you feel like you don't know enough people outside your specific Sword Point oh? Well, have I got an event for you! You are invited to an evening designed to break you out of your normal social bubble. Come and be introduced to 10 sorties and get to know them with some suggested conversation starters. There will be music, fun, and raffle prizes. I'm talking mounts. I'm talking minions. I'm talking bardings. And maybe more. I'm still putting stuff together. Uh, this event is open to all sword members and for maximum accessibility will be conducted through in-game text chat. And there will be two different sessions for this event. Uh, the first one is going to be February 19th at 9.30 p.m. Eastern and go until about 10.45. The second one is going to be February 20th, 4 p.m. Eastern and go until about 5.15. It's actually happening at the same location as the date auction, so come get a sneak peek of that awesome venue that they were just talking about, uh, which is Goblet Ward 9, Plot 35. Um, there are limited spots available, so please RSVP with me on Discord with your in-game name, which sort of you are in, and the session you would like to attend. It's going to be a once-year event, so don't miss out. Reserve your spot today. Yay, thank you, Athena. All right, so uh, just some quick reminders, um, and then I'm going to explain that how the Discord works, and then we're going to go into the events that we're running. Um, so quick reminders for new folks CFC, or um, if you just forgot. Uh, we give out free crystals, shards, and clusters to anyone who's leveling their crafters, and you're running out within reasonable quantities, of course. But if you're leveling up, it can sometimes take... A lot of crystals and shards don't go to the market board uh, we got plenty in our chest that we can uh, give to you to help level up your crafters so please just message an officer if you need some and they'll be happy to get you some um, if you're a new member uh, and a new player in general to Final Fantasy 14 you may not know that you can actually die your chocobo companion that you get around like level 20 to 30 or so and um, 
he starts out as this desert yellow color that Saturn hates. If you don't like that color, like Saturn, you can dye your chocobo. You can feel free to Google a calculator online. Just Google chocobo calculator, color calculator uh, online. And you can sort of choose the starting color, which will typically be desert yellow, and choose which color you would like your chocobo to end up. And it can be all sorts of colors of the rainbow. So um, once you hit calculate, it will give you a list of chocobo fruit uh, and different combinations that you will need in order to color your chocobo. Um, we grow them here in the FC and we provide them for free for our members. So just whisper an officer, hey, I want to dye my chocobo. These are the fruit that I need. And they will be happy to go to the FC chest and get you those fruit. Uh, then you force feed your bird while it's in the stable. And six hours later, uh, it will become the color that you want hopefully sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't it might be one or two fruit off put it back in the calculator figure out what those one or two fruit are and we'll get you those uh to fix your chocobo um we provide fc fc apartments um they're kind of expensive if especially if you're newer they're 300,000 gil that that gil does not go to the fc it's actually just like a a money sink that uh gil sink that Final Fantasy 14 puts in the game. So uh, if you can't afford it, we do cover it, especially if you want to enter the room decorating contest, which I'll have Sylvie talk about later. Uh, and finally, we have a buff schedule in the FC. You'll notice that there are two buffs um, that uh, rotate throughout the week. Well, one of them is the same. We always have Heat of Battle up, which gives you 10% more experience. Um, and then we have another one that uh, rotates throughout the week. If you're not sure what the schedule is, it's actually pinned in the bulletin board under the Immortal Sword category. So go to the Immortal Sword category, look in the pins for the bulletin board, and you will see what the buffs are. Speaking of Discord, our Discord is very complicated. Uh, and we have a lot of channels, and we have a lot of things in it. Um, but the most important thing that you need to familiarize yourself with Discord, if you're new, is the concept of roles. So what are roles? Um, the roles are a way that we've sort of created to uh, so that you can subscribe to being alerted on uh, different events that happen in the FC. Why did we do this? Well, uh, as we were growing, part of the growing pains of becoming a very large FC, uh, we were starting to do at, we were doing at everyone for literally every event that we had. And as we kept adding more and more events, it started getting out of control with the times people were notified in Discord. And so people ended up just muting the server because they didn't want all these notifications all the time. So we decided as a solution to implement this idea of roles, where you can go to the role events and assignments channel in Discord, subscribe to whatever you're interested in, whether that be mount farms, maps, mini games and social events, uh, blue mage stuff, uh, and whatnot, and, and so on and so forth. You could just subscribe to whatever you were interested in, and whenever anyone tags uh, something in, in a specific event category, you could be alerted on it, and. Uh, yeah, so that way you kind of tailor what you're alerted to. And that's why we did it. So yeah, do that if you haven't. We also have a comments and suggestions channel if you do have a suggestion for Discord. If you're not comfortable putting a suggestion in there publicly, uh, you can feel free to DM a moderator officer directly and they'll be happy to uh, assist you and run that up the chain. Um, also, we have several channels that are request only. You don't see them by default and you must request uh, from an officer uh, access to those channels. The One of those is the Not Safe for Work channel. If you need to ask what that is, uh, we're not gonna add you to the channel. Uh, there's a Not Safe for Snowflake channel, which is a meme slash shit posting channel that is not for the faint of heart. So we recommend that um, do not go in there if you have thin skin and so, but you can request access to it. We have the Powder Puffs channel, which is uh, for IRL girl gamers. Uh, if you want to be part of that group, uh, feel free to request access. Sword Pride is the channel for the LGBTQIA plus community and their allies. Uh, if you want added to that, um, message an officer or Darko or Sylvie uh, or anyone, we can hook you up with access to that. Uh, we have the Mad World channel which is a space, uh, a safe space for people to share, um, you know, tough things that they're going through in life and to get encouragement from other members in the FC. Uh, 
in a welcoming space. We have the Las Espadas group channel. Um, they're a group of Spanish-speaking members in S.W.O.R.D., and they're very welcoming and friendly, and they run their own sets of events. Guar our very own Guario heads it up, so if you want to be a part of Las Espadas, talk to him. And finally, we have the housing notifications channel, which if you are trying to buy a house, you can know how difficult it can be to even find a house available for sale. And uh, recently it's gotten a little easier. So if you are in the market to buy your own house in Final Fantasy, uh, I recommend you subscribe to that because Calic, an officer in the Fallen Sword 5.0 updates um, regularly, which plots are available uh, and their size in that channel. So it'll help you out if you're looking to buy a house. Okay, whew, that was a lot. Now I need a break. So we're going to talk about some events. So I'm going to go and let's see who, who do I want to talk about. Let's see who do I want to pick on. Appa, can you talk about Aparco maps and your D&D stuffs? Please? Sure. Okay, um, Darko and I run an Aparco map Monday map attack. It's at Mondays, 9 central, and we run 80s maps, and we are the only map party that has stats at the end, like how many portals and what drops and all that kind of stuff. So that's what makes us special. Join us. <laughs> and <laughs> I run a dungeon crawl event. It's a D&D &D and Final Fantasy mashup type of thing where you roll dice to attack, but you use Final Fantasy classes. And um, it's an immersive dungeon. I build an immersive dungeon in my basement of my house. And uh, it's very, it's once a month. And this month will be on February 25th. Um, I already have a plot and everything. So sign up if you want to come. Uh, also, I think that's about it. Oh, I kind of want to talk about Powder Puffs. Is that okay? Oh, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, we have uh, Powder Puffs run a map party on Sundays. I don't remember what time it was, <laughs> but it was today. And then we also do, um, I want to say like monthly events, like gathering events, like board games or Jackbox games or whatever. So if you're a real life girl, join us there too. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Thanks, Appa. Um, Darko, do you want to plug the lotto? And anything else you want to plug? by the way. Okay. Um, well, let's start with the lottery, since that's on my brain. Um, so every two weeks right now, um, we are doing a lottery. Um, and how that works is you just basically put money into the FC chest, you donate money to the FC, um, and you get lottery tickets. There are price points. Um, if you donate uh, 5000 you get one ticket. Um, 20 tickets is 50,000, 125 tickets is 250,000. And then right now the maximum is 200 tickets for 500,000. Um, if you have, if you want to be reminded, if you want to ask any questions, I'm always here, always in discord. Um, right now we are doing the Valen, the Valentine, however you pronounce that, um, the Valentine's day edition. Um, so you're going to get, well, one person is going to get in. Ad, min, ad angel angel of mercy that's what it is angel of mercy minion from the mog station somebody's going to get a ten dollar mog station gift card and somebody's going to get the new um paint it blue or paint it black emote so that's cool and exciting and let's see what else right now we are just under uh, we have about a million jackpot right now, so don't forget to donate. Yes. Please donate. It's very important. We This is how we fund all of our events and prizes and everything else. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Jalen. Hi. You want to talk about kits and leaves and things? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who likes uh, free stuff? Me. 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 Who who likes leveling crafters? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so. No comment. <laughs> well, I've got the perfect combination of the two, and that is my leave kits. Every week, myself and a 
gr- growing team of people, uh, we gather and craft items for the leave quests that the game provides. And you, all you have to do is go to those quest givers and give them the respective items that they ask for that we give to you. And you power level from, in essence, 1 to 80, but it's, it's from 15 to 80. I, I give away seven kits every week for two different crafting classes. Uh, I am officially bumping it to Monday now because of the monthly meetings. I, I don't want to rotate between days. That would be annoying. Uh, so everyone still has another day to sign up. Just go find my announcement and click on whichever of the two classes that you would like to be entered for. There is a decent chance to win one. I'd say it's probably one in three at this point. Um, yeah, and I'll, I will roll tomorrow at 6 Central. Oh, and sorry, the two classes this week are leather, or from last week, are Leather Worker and Weaver. So hop on that. And if you have any questions, hit me up or any of the other people on the team. At some some point soon, you, you will see the, the tags in Discord of people who are, are on the Leave Kit team. I'm still working on that. But anyway, yep, that's that. Yay, thank you, Jay. And everyone loves leaf kits. It's great. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier <laughs> to level stuff. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Cell, do you want to uh, talk about your mini game and also uh, the taxi service for folks? Uh, sure. As I mentioned earlier, I do Wandering Warrior of Light, which is one of the mini games. Uh, the Essentially, it is a uh, hide-and-seek game with flair, except uh, instead of the, with the regular hide-and-seek where you start with a picture, uh, you actually start with a journal entry that describes the, uh, the location and certain key elements that you're looking for, uh, in which you would want to get into the picture and then submit with a number from 1 to 9.99. And then at the end of the prize period, uh, there's a drawing, and you may win a good amount of gill. The base uh, concept of it is that uh, a random adventurer happened to stumble across some uh, journals from the Warrior of Light in an inn and thought it would be a wonderful idea to follow in their footsteps, literally. And things have just kind of grown from there. It's... uh, Actually, quite interesting if you just want to read it or if you want to participate. There's a pretty good chance of winning Gil. And then there's always the opportunity to just feed that Internet Explorer. As for the taxi service, uh, some time back I was getting uh, you know, kind of upset with the fact that some of these Aether Currents are so difficult to find. And I'm sure many people agree with that assessment. So I... Uh, I know there were other uh, other, uh, resources out there already, but I decided to put together my own uh, set of maps that are uh, notated with uh, not only the coordinates, but also uh, notes about any uh, distinguishing features next to the Aether Currents. And I have that up in Reddit. It's accessible in the pins and game guides. And in addition to that, we have many, many wonderful volunteers that help with the service. You can um, ping in uh, commissions at taxi commissions uh, to request a taxi driver or even in your FC chat and see if anybody's available. And then we can uh, get you in a party, uh, get a multi-person mount out, and cruise you around to any discoverable Aether currents that you happen to be missing. And this is a free service, but... If you want to give your driver a tip, that is fine as well. Yes. Uh, definitely take advantage of that service. And uh, for his mini game, I'm telling you guys, Cell is a really great writer. He writes awesome entries. So we are happy to have such a cool mini game. It's awesome. Oh, just a little side amusement of my own. I, I heard that the, some people might be missing the Super Bowl. So here's a little halftime. Ah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> A little halftime. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see. Who's, who, who's, uh, okay. Uh, let's do, um, Rihanna, do you want to explain the fashion kits for peoples? 
Yes, sorry, I had to turn something down. Um, so I run the fashion kits every week with the help of Kemed and Appa. Um, so basically the fashion report is a mini game at the Golden Saucer and it lets you win a lot of MGP, which is the Golden Saucer currency. And you can buy mounts, glam, gear. I think it's just, I think it's just gear for glam, but you know, just lots of fun stuff. You can get minions too. Um, basically you can save a lot up and I think the giant Sabo tender mount is like 4 million something or maybe 2 million, something like that. Two million. Um, but the uh, fashion kit it gives a lot of MGP, and so basically we provide the both 80 point and 100 points. Um, 80 points you is very simple. Usually it's like one piece of low level gear and a couple dies, and then the 100 point is for people who have never done it before, and you can get the achievement, um, and you'll need to do it once, and then you just do the 80 from then on because they both give the same amount of MGP, and as long as the 100 isn't stupidly hard and it doesn't include untradeable items and ray drops and fun stuff like that, we're able to give those out. He's been kind of a, kind of stingy lately, but we were able to give this week we have a 100 kit. So if anybody needs one of those, we are at the Saucer on Fridays at five, um, yes, 5 Central and 10 Central, and then at the cafe on Saturdays and Mondays. So yeah, come and see me. Yay! Thanks, Rihanna. Yeah, e really easy way to get that MGP. Yes, easy uh, and lots of it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like the best. Yeah, just do that once a week. <laughs> okay. Um, and Sylvie, do you want to talk about the room decorating contest? And anything yep. else? So, for those who don't know, the room decorating contest is a quarterly event in which I'll come up with a topic, sometimes joined with a story or a concept. And you decorate your FC rooms depending on how you feel it fits the theme. Um, judges will score you depending on creativity and other things. And um, basically you win anything from up to 4 million gil to mog station credit to mounts and glams in-game and elsewhere, which may not be available or hard to get. Um, this year we're doing an extra um, at the end of the year. We're going to be combining everyone's scores for the entire year, and the, the top people are going to win some amazingly good prizes. Um, so the FC Derm Decorating Contest is starting up again on Monday. Um, in fairness to the other FCs, I'm not going to reveal what it is until Monday, uh, but please look to announcements chat. Um, it's going to be pinged under minigames and housing. Thank you. Yay, thank you, Sylvie. Um, I guess I'll talk about my own event since, you know, I'm an immortal sword officer, technically. So here we go. I co-host the monthly glam contest with Saturn Return. And, uh, it's gonna, it's probably bi-monthly now, but, uh, nevertheless, our last one was the four elements theme. So that was uh, earth, wind, fire, water. And, um, the glams were super amazing. You could, you should totally check out the, uh, video on Twitch or YouTube if you haven't. Um, but basically, if you want to enter the Glam Contest, the way that it works is um, you we put together a theme and we make the announcement in Discord and at the FC meetings. And um, once we announce the theme for the Glam Contest, uh, you just put together a Glam that you feel like fits it, a Glamour. Uh, with different pieces and items that you think fits and you can be you can be creative with it You know like just explain to us why you think that glam fits it and it's basically like a fashion show So you come out to our venue you uh, strut your stuff on stage some people do a little RP skit or uh, uh, Presentation of some sort um, Other people just type out in chat sort of what their reasoning behind the glam was uh, you can do whatever you like um, It's not super complicated uh, but we sort of uh, myself Saturn and a team of guest judges that usually rotates each time um, We'll deliberate and we will place the winners into various categories uh, for winning some of the categories for example are things like most creative, uh, best in show, uh, sexiest, funniest, um, FC leaders pick, uh, best newcomer, things like that. We have a lot of different categories and sometimes we create them, create more on the spot because we feel bad and we want to give people prizes. So, um, uh, and the, 
it gets harder and harder to judge these things as time goes on, but I promise you, if you enter, you'll have a great time and just check out everyone else's really cool glams, and um, hopefully you will win a really cool uh, prize. So a lot of the times, the prizes that we put in there are uh, amount off the Mog Station, we'll have glams from the Mog Station as well, uh, because it's a glam contest, and we will have various glam-related prizes uh, in there as well, and maybe some emotes and things like that. So, so yeah, uh, please enter the glam contest. It is super duper fun. All right, so we do have some time to go over a few more uh, events. I think I've went over all the immortal sword officers. So let's see. Um, Flame, real quick, can you do raid learning parties? Because that's important for raiders. Sure, sure. Hey, I'm uh, <clears throat> Flame Zero from 5.0. Uh, Fallen Sword. Uh, I host raid learning parties on Saturday at 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, all we require from you is that you've had uh, all the normal uh, raids finished, uh, the Edens, that is, uh, up to 12, as well as the minimum item level, which is 500 gear or 510, depending on the fight. Uh, and have finished the 5.3 main story quest in Shadowbringers. Um, they're a great way to hop into raiding if you're interested or uh, piques your interest at all. Um, they're pretty chill. A uh, good way to meet new uh, FC members that maybe you haven't before. Uh, yep. Uh, so uh, those are there. Um, come up. Say hey. Um, that's all for me. All right, thanks, Flame. Yeah, these are a great way to like dip your toe into savage raiding. It it can be kind of intimidating to go into Party Finder, so go learn with Flame. He's super nice. He's Canadian, and he'll tell you how to do the fight and not die <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> in a very judgment-free zone as well. So it's it's a lot better than Party Finder. Um, let's see. Uh, Tech, if you're here, since this is this was also your first FC, and because they love glams, you want to talk about the glam jam? If you're here, still, sure, I can. Yeah. You... So, um, Tech's glam jam is a monthly event that I run. Um, probably about the middle of the month, what I do is um, I'll post a, an announcement in the announcements tab um, in Discord, and there will be a gold emoji at the bottom of it. So, if you're new to glamming, or if you're not really glam savvy, or you don't really have the guild to really afford um, any really good glam, then uh, hit that emoji, and you'll be entered to win a possible glam makeover with me. So if you win, there are three ways this kind of goes around. You can either pick a single item, um, chest piece, boots, pants, just whatever item you want to, and we'll build a glam around that actual item. Number two, you can go on to the Aorzine Collection, which is just... Um, a, uh, it's a community glamour site that uh, a lot of people use to show off their glams that kind of stuff. You can go on there and pick a glam that's already been created by somebody else and you and I will work together. Maybe a couple people will, will help us as well, run dungeons, um, get the items to craft the pieces, just whatever we need to do to uh, put that glam together. Um, your third option is to give me the reins completely. I'll ask you a few questions, like what your colors are, what kind of designs you like, that kind of stuff, and I will build a glam from the bottom up for you and present it to you at the end of the week. Once that's done, you'll get to pick a barding for your chocobo, either one that kind of goes in with your glam or just one that you really wanted for a long time and you haven't been able to get. And then once we're done with that, our resident photographer, Kemed, and I will uh, help you do a photo shoot with your new glam and your new chocobo party and everything at a place of your choosing. Um, do some poses and just get you some cool pictures that you could keep. And then we'll put those in the screenshot uh, uh, in Discord as well so that you can kind of show it off to everybody. So you have a cool glam, new photos for it, and everything else. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. It'll probably get posted next weekend for people to uh, start picking uh or selecting that emoji. So, uh, yeah, you might win. Yay, thanks, Zach. Let's mm -hmm. see, we still have some time. Uh, let's see, what, what's good? Oh, Mel, 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 Mel. Yes. Can you talk I about your stuff? I thought you never asked. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. It gave me time to watch the halftime show, but still. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me pull up my notes. Hello, 
everybody. Melisand Revenge here, aka Mama Mel from Eternal Sword, aka 3.0, and I am here to talk to you tonight about rainbow runs. What are rainbow runs? Well, earlier Perry mentioned the Sword Pride channel, which is the home of our LGBTQIA plus mafia, as well as their allies. And every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. Central, we have our rainbow run. Um, what does the Alphabet Mafia do during the Rainbow Run? Well, we might be doing maps, we might be doing Golden Saucer, we might be doing raids. We vote every week, and that means the power is in your hands. So if you would like an invite, talk to any Discord mod, uh, we would be happy to add you to the channel, and we would love to see you come out and uh, play with our event. And Perry, while I'm up here, can I talk about my event? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Also, I, along with Begone Thought, also of Eternal, are in charge of our Deep Dungeons, which we normally run every Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. What are Deep Dungeons? Well, they're like regular dungeons, except you go up or down, and you can get mounts and glam and fireworks and materia and demi-materia and fireworks and fireworks. <laughs> and there's mimics, so many mimics. Exactly, Woozy. They're just like regular dungeons, but deeper. You gotta go as deep as possible if you want to get that Night Pegasus. However deep you think you're going, we're going deeper. So come join me and be gone uh, next weekend. Uh, we do Palace of the Dead on Saturday, and we do Heaven on High on Sunday. We would love to see you out, and sometimes Solendria helps us uh, run parties as well. So if you want to see him in his leopard print bikini... You should come to Heaven on High next Sunday. Also, I'm going to take two seconds and talk about Char's events as well. Char is our host of our fishing contest. He's also my in-game and real-life husband. He invites you to come peruse Char's fishing channel, where he will teach you how to grab your rod with both hands, master your bait, and fly your fly out as far as you can reach to go deep to bring him the largest or smallest specimen that you can find depending on what he's asking for for the week. You can win Gil. You take a picture, you add a number, you get money. What's not to love? He also does our Who's That NPC where he finds an NPC, he posts a picture, he writes a rhyme, it's your job to go and find. He also, in fact, asks you to post a number to that, and you can still win Gil. So there's plenty of fun to come on down for everybody. All of these and more are in our Discord. Thank you, Perry. Yay, thanks, Mel. All right, we still actually have a little time. I'm confident in my ability to end this meeting on time. So, Michonne, if you're here, could you please let the people know about the Breakfast Club? I certainly would. Good morning. This is Michonne Rathclaw from Temporal. I host the Breakfast Club on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It runs from 11 a.m. Eastern Time. 10 a.m. Central Time to 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Central Time. We have three choices. They are 80s Fates, Roulettes, which are normal raids, and our 80s Maps. We are running, going back to Flashback Fridays, which will be 70s Maps. Now, to go ahead and plug on Saturday mornings, there is a 60s map run. So we do have organized map runs for 60s, 70s, and 80s. Also, you have Hugga, who does his maps, and several other folks do uh, organized maps. You've heard from Appa and Darko. So there are a lot of opportunities out there for you to uh, earn money, have fun, and meet new people. Thanks, Perry. Thank you, Michonne. And let's see, we can go ahead and um, just just as a point of note, uh, we're going to wrap up the uh, event talk here because I still have to go into promotions and then finally go into prizes. But if, um, actually, does anyone real quick want to plug anything else? Oh, Did you say anything about the cafe, Perry? Oh, I didn't. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, Thank you. God. What? How did I wow. miss that? Yeah, I'll oh do God. that. I'll do that. I'll end with that. Okay. <laughs> All right. the, the glam grind. Like the biggest. Yes, I know, I know. Okay, here we go. So Sword Cafe is an amazing, amazing, unique thing that is coming, becoming really a staple of the FC. Um, 
Sword Cafe is a social mixer event that we run twice a week, uh, once uh, Saturday at 10 p.m. Central Time, and then Mondays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, you can go there and you can get free, high-quality rating, crafting, gathering, or leveling food, as well as uh, tinctures and cordials and other side items that come with it. Um, but it's not just that. It's a social mixer. All the leadership are there. You can talk to us. We have all the a bunch of members from across all five of the Sisterhood FCs are there. We've got bards uh, from the Sword Bard Online Band playing all the time, and they're amazing. Uh, they play on the top floor and the and the bottom floor of the establishment. Um, it's at a unique venue uh, that's decorated expertly um it's just a super cool event there's tons of people giving away free stuff there rihanna's there giving out fashion kits we got jebediah spices there raffling off minions and other things warehawk just gave out like four million gil to people for free just because he wanted to there the other day and and uh there's manipulation kits being given out if you want to unlock manipulation for your crafters uh there's bardings being given out by El elliot and other people there's gardening stuff being given out if you want to garden stuff and, and housing stuff. Just just show up. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Yeah, it was, it was one million each, by the way. Four million spread out over four people. But yeah, still amazing. So come on out. It, have a great time. Uh, get your free raid food and whatnot. And um, just just have a good time. Hang out with us for an hour. Um, and it's also if you want more information on the exact rules on how getting the food and to see the menu and stuff go to swordfc.com slash sword dash cafe um that page is going to be updated soon with all the other services uh as we can work on it but you can check out the menu at least there and sort of how the rules work but yeah it's really cool and honestly the coolest one of the coolest events we have so please check that out okay so uh now I have to go into promotions. So tonight, we have... Um, oh, before promotions. One last thing. There are tons of events that I wasn't even able to go over because this FC is enormous and we have a lot of people doing a lot of awesome stuff. If you want to see a list of all the events and when they're happening, go to swordfc.com slash calendar. Uh, we have an integrated calendar there. Uh, Darko uh, mentioned earlier that he updates it and works on it. Um, it's super awesome and it will tell you all the other awesome things we have going on or anything that I mentioned now that you're not sure when it is, it, it'll be on the calendar. So check that out. Okay. Now I'm going to go into promotions and then we're going to get to the giveaway. So tonight we have um, one promotion to Honor Guard and two are going to Royal Guard. Okay. So first of all, our Honor Guard promotion. Uh, Jalen, if you could help me out in-game, if you're available to sure. promote this person. Um, our first uh, person that we're promoting is very active in uh, the FC, and they have been talkative and friendly, and so we are going to promote Diazlin Corrales to Honor Guard. Congratulations! Woo! Long time coming. Hey. 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 Oh, is she on right now? That's okay, just promote her. She'll, she'll, okay. she'll be surprised later. No, it's not. Surprise! Can you echo me on... Uh, on yeah, yeah, Mel's got it. I got, I got, she's, yeah. yeah, I'm doing Discord for you, yeah. Awesome, so, thanks. Okay. <laughs> yes. For um, And then we have two Royal Guard promotions. For those that don't know, Royal Guards are... Uh, they help out the officers with a small task, but it's still... Uh, sort of a leadership role so it's kind of like one step up from honor guard between honor guard and officer and um yeah so our first royal guard this person um is helping jalen a lot with the leave kit team and producing leave kits for all you guys all of our members and they are also helping a lot with the team craft so keeping things organized with lists and stuff because uh, that can be complicated when you're doing it uh in, in, in mass like that. Uh, they also work once a week at Sword Cafe uh, for Jalen on Mondays uh, to help uh, give out some of these kits. So, no, no, correction. I, oh, I don't give out kits at the cafe. Oh, I, I do on demand crafting. Oh, on demand crafting. Never mind. Yeah. I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> on demand crafting at the cafe on Mondays. 
Uh, so the first person we would like to promote is Z Zikazu Zangu. We just call him Zika. For sure. <laughs> to Royal Guard. Congratulations. Zika Z. If someone knows the correct pronunciation for that, feel free to let me know. It's Zika Z Zangu. Zika Z. Z Zangu. Zika Z. Or just Zika. Zika Z. Zika Z. First day half many. Okay, well, congratulations. Crazy <laughs> <laughs> brains mush. I know, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, our second promotion to Royal Guard is someone who has been very active in FC chat and helpful. You'll see them talking all the time, helping members with questions. Uh, I just saw them helping people today, to reminding them that the FC meeting was going on. Um, he also helps serve at the Sword Cafe twice a week and even took over my table a couple times when I was really busy with a bunch of other things. So the second promotion to Royal Guard is going to send nudes. Congratulations! Yay, yay. yay send nudes! Yay. Nudes are good. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay all right and now now that that's that's done and over with we are now going to the moment you've all been waiting for the giveaway okay so um if you are a member of the immortal sword and you are currently watching the twitch stream make your way up all the way to the top of Discord, underneath the Welcome to Sword category, you will see a channel that has been magically made visible to you, the Giveaways channel. Click on that channel and you will see that I have taken a screenshot there of tab one of our FC chest. Uh, it's important to note that all the items in the FC chest are available for this giveaway, including any mounts, minions, emotes, bardings, and glams. Um, we also have on the bottom row there a group of color-coded flowers that each represent items that we could not physically place into the chest. Um, I also want to note that this weekend is a special weekend because it is Fat Cat Weekend. Woo! Yes. All the FCs have gotten fat cats and fatter cat mounts. So as you can see, the first mount on that on that screenshot is a fat cat. And the red flowers in the chest represent the fatter cat mount. Uh, which is the grand prize. The blue flowers is the toast emote. Uh, green flowers is the splash emote. Yellow flowers is a million gill. And the purple flowers is 500k gill. There are also um, some uh, horns and mounts in the FC chest. Uh, those are two zoo horns, so that's the big bird mount. Uh, and the big shell whistle, which is the new crab mount from the firmament. Uh, you can win that as well. Um, but like I said, anything is up for grabs in that chest, including those flying chairs and those emotes and the glam items and the bardings and all that stuff. So yeah, in order to be eligible for entry, please click the tada or the streamer emoji underneath the giveaway bot. Uh, click it once. If you click it twice, it'll take you out. Um, so just click it once, and then after at around uh, 8, 11 p.m. Central Time, it's going to roll uh, 10 winners. If you are selected as a winner, you will be pinged in this channel, uh, in the giveaways channel, and uh, you will be alerted, and you need to basically whisper in-game, in, in Final Fantasy XIV, whisper an officer in the Immortal Sword with your top two choices for prizes, uh, because that'll get you a better chance of uh, us grabbing you a prize that you actually want. Because it's first come, first serve. Whichever officer is able to yank that prize out of the chest for you first uh, will determine whether or not you get that prize. So, good luck. Uh, may the odds be ever in your favor. And um, that's it. Yeah. All right. Four minutes left. Four minutes left. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh, it's time spare. Time spare. Get it early. I know. Nice. I know. I'll, I'll give you guys four minutes to watch the Super Bowl, I guess. I, or, you know, whatever. Okay. Well, that's it for us. Anyone want last minute thing? Last second thing since we have three minutes? I can't believe we ended early. Okay, perfect. On yeah. that note, bye, everybody. <laughs> we love you all. <laughs> Only officers on stage. <laughs> Woo, okay, yay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>